Please subscribe mad.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. In our today's lecture, we are going to discuss the concept that when we came across the certain equations that are not quadratic but can be reduced to the quadratic form. Okay. So there are different types of equations that can be reduced to the quadratic equations by some proper substitution. Okay. Here we will discuss the equations of the type ax raised to power 2 raised to power n plus bx raised to power n plus c equals to 0. These are if you came across the equations where you have the power of x uh, 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 that is greater than 2 uh, and is even. You can calculate from here that n belongs to real number. So when we put the n uh, equals to 1, it will become ax squared plus bx plus c. That is actually the quadratic equation. But when we put the n is equal to 2, it will become ax4 like it will become ax4 plus bx square plus c equals to 0. Now if you came across the equations like this, which are not quadratic or which are not in the standard form of quadratic, quadratic, quadratic and then how you will be able to solve such equations. So we will discuss. Um, we will discuss by using the example that how you can solve the equations of this form. Okay. So let's take an example. The example is you have to solve an equation of the form 2x raised to power 4 equals to 9x square minus 4. Now this is the equation where the power of x is 4, or you can say a multiple of 2 okay or in or an even number now in such an equation in such a situation the given equation is not in the quadratic form so we can convert in, it into the quadratic form by using a substitution method now what kind of substitution let's see we have to substitute x square equals to y okay in the equation that is one that is the question so in equation 1, we have to substitute x square is equals to y in equation 1. Okay. So whenever you came across the equations like this, you have to substitute the value as x square equals to y so that we can reduce it to the quadratic form. And further, we can use the different methods that we have already seen that how you can solve the quadratic equation. Okay. So let's write it down as 2x4 equals to 9x square minus 4. Or you can also write it as 2x, 2x4 minus 9x square plus 4 equals to 0. Now we have to substitute x square equals to y. So we can say that the x4 can be written as x square whole square minus 9x square plus 4 equals to 0. Now we can substitute the y instead of x square. So it will become 2y square minus 9y plus 4 equals to 0. Now it is clear from here that the given equation is now in quadratic form. This is quadratic equation where the power of x will be 2 or square. So now we have got the quadratic equation and we can easily solve it by using any of the three methods of solving the quadratic equation. Now, here we can first we can use the method of factorization in order to solve this equation. Let's uh, solve this equation further by using factorization method of solving the quadratic equation. Now, solve by factorization. Okay, we will solve it here like 2y square minus 9y plus 4 equals to 0. So, we have already discussed how you can use the factorization method in order to solve the quadratic equation. So, you can refer to that video in order to uh, learn about the step-by-step -step method of you, of uh, method of factorization for quadratic equations. So, as we have 4 twos are 8, so for in order to make um, uh, the factors of 8, we can uh, have 8 ones are 8. So, we can solve it as by minus 8y minus y plus 4 equals to 0 okay then we have to take the common from the first two 
uh, from the first two terms and the last two terms. In the first two terms, we have the common of 2y. It will be y minus 4. Then minus 1. And it will be y minus 4 equals to 0. Then we have to take the fact, common factor that is y minus 4 as, uh, uh, as we have to factor it out. Then 2y minus 1 equals to 0. Now either y minus 4 equals to 0 or 2y minus 1 equals to 0. So y is equals to 4 and 2y equals to 1 and y is equal to 1 by 2. So as we have the quadratic equation and the the, and the power of x is square, it means we have the solution with the, uh, 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 we have the solution uh, uh, with the two values of x. Okay. So, these are the uh, two values of y. Now, this is not the solution. These are the values of y. We have to put these values of y into which equation? We have to put these y values of y into this equation in order to get the value of x. Okay. So, we will put the value, uh, value uh, x we will write as, now we have to put the these two values of y into the equation x scale equals to y in order to get the value of, um, in order to get the uh, value of x. So, let us do it. We have to put in the equation as x is equals to y square and we have the value of y that is 1 is y is equals to 4. And the other of value value of y is y is equals to 1 by 2. Okay. So, let us put these values, this value of y and this value of y into this equation in order to get the value of x. So, we will sol solve it as x is equals to y square. x is equals to, so it will be 4 square. Okay. So, x is equals to 16. Okay. See, similarly, we can solve the uh, uh, for the y for, uh, for y is equals to 1 by 2. So x is equals to y square. x is equals to 1 by 2 whole square. And x is equals to 1 by 4. So what is the solution set? Solution set basically here is 16 and 1 by 4. As we have the power of x is square, so we will always have uh, two values of x that will satisfy the given equation. So, this is how we can reduce the given equation uh, to quadratic form uh, if, uh, if the given equation is not into the standard form of the quadratic, the quadratic equation. So, let us have one more example so that you can have the clear, uh, clear concept. So, example number 2 is you have to solve the equation like you will be given with y raised to power minus 6 minus 9 y raised to power minus 3 plus 8 equals to 0. Now, how you can say that you, how you can say that you can easily solve the equations like, like this. Now, it is clear from the uh, power of y that is minus 6 that it, it is basically the multiple of 2. Okay. So, we can easily reduce this given equation into the quadratic form by using the, uh, some, by using some proper substitution. So, here we will substitute as, first we will uh, uh, write the equation in the form as y raised to power minus 3 square minus 9 y raised to power minus 3 plus 8 equals to 0. Okay, now we will make the substitution that is y raised to power minus 3 equals to x. Okay, so we will put the value of x and what we will get? We we'll get x square minus 9x plus 8 equals to 0. Now, it is clear from here that the given equation is no quadratic form. Now, you can easily solve this equation by using any of the method of solving the quadratic equation. So, we will use the method of uh, factorization that is, the, and that is the easiest one and um, uh, we can apply the, uh, the quadratic, uh, the factorization method as x square x square minus 8x minus x plus 8 equals to 0 as the factors of 8 are 8 ones are 8 so we have used these factors minus 8x and minus x in order to form the minus 9x now we will take the common factors from the first two terms that is x so x minus 8 minus 1 x minus 8 as there is no common factor so we have taken the minus 1 as a common factor 
equal to 0. Now, x minus 8 is the common factor, so we will factor it out. x minus 8 into x minus 1 equals to 0. Now, either x minus 8 equals to 0 or x minus 1 equals to 0. So, we will write x is equal to 8 and x is equal to 1. So, these are the values of x, but here the, the solution of this question is, has not ended as we have to put the, these values of x there, you have to put the, it there. You have to put it there. It means in the equation and where we have made the substitution. So, we have to put it back in order to get the value of y. Okay. So, we can do it here as y minus 3 is equal to x. y minus 3 is equal to weight. First, we will use the value of x equals to 8. So, we will write 8 here. Then, y minus 3 is equal to 2 raised to power 3, it will become 1 over y, that is equal to y cube 2 raised to power 3 and if we take the cube root, then it will become 1 by y is equal to 2 or y is equal to 1 by 2. So, this is the first value of y that we have got by using uh, by by you by uh, again substituting back the value of x into the equation of uh, into the equation that we have used for substitution at the start of this question. Okay, so another value is x is equals to one. We we'll solve it again like this as y raised to power minus three is equals to one or one raised y one uh, divided by y raised to power three equals to one. As we have negative power, so we can write it in this form. So, taking cube root on both sides, what we will get, we will get 1 by y equals to 1 or y is equals to 1. Okay. So, we have got the two values of y that is 1 by 2 and 1. So, the solution set came out here is, we can write the solution set as equals to 1 by 2 and 1. So, keep this in mind that these x values of x are not the solution set. You have to substitute back the value into the equation of uh, the, the, into the substitution that you, we have used at the beginning of this example. So this is how you can solve the equations um, of the type a x square plus b x uh, of a x four plus b x square plus c or a x six plus b x square plus c. Whenever you came across the uh, even power. And the equation can uh, then the equation of this form can be reducible to the quadratic equation. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.